Hello everyone, it's me Dr. Zainab and I hope you are enjoying your day. Today I am here with our new topic that is pericardium. In this lecture we will discuss the layers of pericardium and the whole features of the pericardium. Okay, So pericardium is a fibrocerous sac that encloses the heart and the roots of the great vessels. Okay, It encloses the heart and the roots of the great vessels as I am saying the roots of the great vessels so it does not cover the whole length of the great vessels okay and where does this pericardium lies this pericardium lies in the middle mediastinum so as I told you that this pericardium is fibrous serous sac so it is a combination of fibrous pericardium and the serous pericardium okay it is combination of two pericardium so let's discuss one by one here you can see that in this diagram you can see here we have the heart musculature here we have ascending aorta then we have the serous pericardium outside the uh, heart musculature and just outside the serous pericardium we have this fibrous pericardium okay and this fibrous pericardium or simply the pericardium it lies on the diaphragm below okay so first of all we have the fibrous pericardium as its name shows that this fibrous pericardium it is made up of fibrous tissue okay it is made up of fibrous tissue it has an apex base anterior and posterior surfaces and on each sides uh, that is lateral sides okay so the apex of the fibrous pericardium is blunt and it lies at the sternal angle okay so from the sternal angle there begins the apex of the fibrous pericardium it is fused with the roots of the great vessels and with pretracheal fascia okay then we have base the base of fibrous pericardium is situated or lies at the central tendon of diaphragm that's why we can say that the fibrous pericardium and the central tendon of diaphragm they are inseparable we can't separate them okay then anterior surface anterior surface is formed by weak superior and inferior sternopericardial ligaments these ligaments connect the pericardium to the sternum then we have posterior surface posteriorly it is related to esophagus it is related to principal bronchus and the nerve plexus around the esophagus and the descending thoracic aorta if we talk about as i told you that this pericardium lies in the middle mediastinum so on each sides of this pericardium what lies okay so on each sides there we have mediastinal pleuri we have mediastinal surface of the lungs and the phrenic nerves so we talk about the fibrous pericardium what is the significance of the fibrous pericardium as i told you that it is made up of fibrous tissue so it encloses the heart it uh, it prevents the over expansion of the heart okay and it prevents the over filling of the heart okay now come to the serous pericardium okay now the serous pericardium it is a thin double layered serous membrane unlike fibrous pericardium it is a double layered serous membrane thin double layered serous membrane which is lined by mesothelium here in this diagram you can show that you can see that here we have the heart musculature outside to that we have the serous pericardium and with red marker there we have fibrous pericardium okay now what happens that the layer which is just adjacent to the fibrous pericardium that is parietal layer okay and when this parietal layer goes near the heart it folds back on itself and it's it forms the visceral layer of the heart okay so basically this parietal layer folds on itself okay and around the heart around the viscera it gets enclosed that viscera or heart okay so forms the visceral layer okay you can see here heart the visceral layer the parietal layer and the fibrous pericardium so this visceral layer and parietal layer makes this serous pericardium okay in this time you can also see that here we have heart uh, vasculature heart musculature then we have this serous pericardium and outside to that we have this fibrous pericardium 
Now what lies between two layers? There lies a pericardial cavity. Okay. There lies a pericardial cavity. It is a potential space between the parietal pericardium and the visceral pericardium. What does it contain? It contains a thin film of serous fluid. Okay. Why it is called serous pericardium? Because the serous cavity or the perica pericardial cavity contains a serous or thin film of serous fluid which lubricates the opposed surfaces and allows the heart to beat smoothly. Okay. So, up till now we discussed the significance of fibrous pericardium and the significance of the serous pericardium. The fibrous pericardium provides the support. It provides the overexpansion of the heart. While, while the serous pericardium, it uh, lubricates the heart. Okay. So, if you have any, uh, any question, you can ask. Thank you.